18, charities. Not everybody wants all their assets to go to their kids, to their relatives, to family members, to friends. For many people, they um, want charities that they have. Charitable giving has been a part of their whole life. Or um, if not, they want to make sure that their money does good when they are gone. Having charities designated either through your will or through beneficiary designations of other accounts and we haven't spent any time talking about beneficiary designations that is a really important part of anybody's estate plan having charities that are really near and dear to your heart that is a way to make an impact when you're gone and giving to charities qualified charities has a very positive tax benefit. So when people are looking at, oh, well, they have a taxable estate, which by the way, in Washington this year, 2022, it's 2.193 million per person. Uh, federally, it's 12.06 million per person. There are, so that's what the tax levels are. Um, other states have no state tax, like Idaho, for example. Other states like Oregon have a very low estate tax. I believe it's a million dollars. But the point is, is that not only can you make an impact with your charity, you can actually have the benefit of avoiding estate taxes by having charities be a part of your estate plan. Mm -hmm.